Okay, last one for the day, this small box right here. What do we got here? Oh, nice, this is the iCharger 406 Duo. Let's see what's wrong with this. So this is rated DC 10 to 30 volt. Set my uh, power supply here to 13 and a half. Let's just keep it slow. Okay, so we're drawing 0.24 amps and the system actually beeped and powered up. Ah, so the customer says the charger comes on, but neither side charges. It's kind enough to supply one of his batteries. Let's connect it and see. We connected the balance port here first, and we're seeing that it sees two cells. Okay, so we tried to charge this, and it said connection error after a few minutes. Let's try channel two. It's giving this 4.24 volt warning right there. And again with the connection error. Okay, let's take it apart. Here we got this. There's the motherboard here. The customer said that these fuses can blow according to a YouTube video. But now let's check. And nope, that's not it. All these fuses are good. See anything wrong with it, so I set up this little jig to get the battery to discharge a little bit. The battery is discharged at 2.4 volts and it's still giving us the error. Has to be something wrong. I charge apart too. This is the one with the uh, 1301 error here when we try to charge the battery. Let's take it apart. Definitely a better version. The screws here have a little shield on the bottom. Here it is bare bone, all the MOSFETs here. One of these has to have some sort of problem with it. Let's test them. So multimeter and continuity mode, we tested all of these MOSFETs and we didn't see anything. Right, we got the motherboard out here, we connected it to the power supply and check this out. Under the thermal cam, a huge heat spot right here. Let's uh, take care of this. Now, let's take this under the microscope, let's identify the chip. Put it on the microscope, here it is, burnt to a crisp right there. Now what is this chip? We're just gonna have to, uh, you know hit up the community once again and uh, that's why we need the uh, right to repair for uh, such things as uh, this very easily get a schematic with a part number order it from arrow or digikey and you're good to go but now we're stuck with a dead device